Okay, right. So um, this is task six, task six. And the first question starts off by saying, what is a financial measure of the difference between budget, oops, sorry, budget and actual um, budget and actual variance, I mean, and sorry, and actual performance. This is really the study of variances, isn't is it not? The study of variances. So really, we're talking about um, we're talking about variances, and so really, this is a variance. The answer here is a variance, and that's part part A. Now let's go into um, the yeah and look at the the working here. So it says that you have an operating statement for October. Um, this showed that the direct raw materials were this was the this is what was actually spent. <sighs> Yes. Um, there we are. Let's change this to this. And then over here. Okay, great. So it says that the actual um, amount spent on raw materials was 142,560. And we are told that this is what they, 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 they spent money on 9,900 kilograms. And this is what they made. No problem. So what we are told here is um, what do we what do we expect to spend? on on um if we're making six thousand items well the, we expect to use um 1.6 kilograms for each item and each kilogram costs 1450 so you expect therefore to spend if you like um that's what you expect to spend on this um on the on the materials for six thousand items, which is fourteen pound fifty times one point six times six thousand, which comes out at one hundred and thirty nine thousand one hundred and thirty nine thousand two two hundred two hundred. Sorry, I'm just slightly being um interrupted. One second. Right, let's carry on. So um, the question then goes on to ask, um, what is the actual material price per kilogram? So you spent 142,560 on 9,900 kilograms. Therefore, the cost or the price, forgive me, per kilogram, 560 divided by 9,900 is equal to this divided by that, and you have 14 pound 40. And so you have here 14 pound 40 that's the that's the point of that one um then we are asked to consider the actual materials used per item and so therefore we use nine thousand nine hundred you're really just and like i say just working with through this just as though you were in the factory on making six thousand items so therefore the question wants to know actual material used per item so it'll be the nine thousand nine hundred divided by the six thousand and that brings us to one point six five kilograms um if you like per per item per item right and now they discuss the price variance now you can sort of look at this um you're actually spending 40 pound 40 on a kilogram and you the intention was that you were to spend 14 pound 50 so you're making t a 10p saving on each kilogram and you bought nine thousand nine hundred kilograms which it gives means you have a favorable variance of 990 pounds a favorable variance of 990 pounds right and on usage so in principle you were meant to use um 1.6 um, kilograms of material so you were supposed to use 1.6 kilograms of material and therefore to make 6,000 items you should have used 1.6 um times 6,000 units you should have used nine thousand six hundred kilograms that's what you should have used but what did you use you used nine thousand nine hundred nine thousand nine hundred kilograms which means that there's a 300 kilogram adverse situation so first of all that's adverse so you did 300 300 kilograms more times the standard price remember we're just focused on the we're just focused on the usage because we cannot judge the people in the factory based on anything else but just the the, the amount so we we do this based on the standard price 300 kilograms times 14 pound 50 and we get 4350 right and um really the cost variance really is the relationship between these two in effect really um which it really is <laughs> is the difference between what um we expected to spend um and what was 
if you like, spent on those um, on those units, which is the difference. And if you actually did that difference of um, one four to five sixty minus um, one three nine two hundred, you get um, let's just do that you get three three six zero so the difference of these guys anyway give you that answer um give you that answer but you could also do it from here as well by subtracting the nine nine zero from the four three five zero you will still get the adverse variance of three three six zero so two places to go because this is of course a breakdown of those a breakdown of the cost variance which is the difference between what you should have spent on the units versus what you did spend on the units cool great stuff let's look at the next one okay and so we have some data here and this is a great question because it allows you to tease out oops again it allows you to tease out the things you need and the things that you do not um that you don't need so let's um this i'm just going to stick with a kind of graph to sort of sort of see what's going on here so first of all what can we deduce from this information this is your budget so we can get the standard figures so from here i can work out a number of things i can work out if this is the cost of all the hours i can work out how much i meant to pay per hour and that's the 65 yeah that's the 65 880 divided by the 3660 and that gives me 18. so i'm meant to pay 18 pound if you like um per per hour and the standard time to make one unit is therefore the 18,300 divided by the 3660 so the 18,300 items um sorry we spent three three six six zero hours making 18 um 1300 units yes Yes, that's what it is. So therefore, to make one unit, I'm going to divide this by divide both sides. Eighteen three zero zero to make one unit. That's three 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 six six zero. Interesting. Three six six zero divided by eighteen thousand three hundred, and that's zero point two. So there, technically, zero point two hours is how long it should take me to make one item. Great stuff. So the question here says, what's the standard labor cost of production? So standard zero point two hours. I'm talking so of course this is based on how many units we actually produce so in terms of how many units we actually produced 18,800 items should take 0 0.2 hours each and i should pay 18 pounds so when i multiply all these together 18,800 times 0 0.2 times 18 i come out with um i should be coming out with 67,000 67,680 so that's the first that's the first point so that's the standard labor cost of production now i can move quickly and say listen i'm supposed to spend 0 0.2 hours if you like to make each of these so therefore 0 0.2 times 8800 0, 0 is the 3760 i mean that's what, what's really happening here when i do the standard that's the standard cost and that's the standard to make these 18800 items that's kind of the that's the initial plan now what actually happens well what actually happens is that you actually did you actually to make these units you spent four thousand seven hundred hours so i can straight away find what the labor efficiency variance is by subtracting these two guys so do that then multiply that by the 18 and that takes you to sixteen thousand sixteen thousand nine hundred and 20. now at 18 you should have spent 18 pound on you did 4700 hours so 18 times 4700 hours 18 times 4700 is 84 600 that's what you should that's what you should have spent but you spent of course it says it here that you spent 82 so you something is kind of low a little bit lower you know to, to do that because you did 8270 so you did less than what we should have so technically your number i could i could find out what that number was you know i could be, by simply dividing 82 by 4700 let's just do it so i can prove it 82720 divided by 4700 is equal to is 17.6 so actually it was 17.6 the cost of an hour um, 
the cost of an hour. I don't need to. The difference between this and 82,720 is enough for me. So 84,600 minus 82,720 is 1,880. So that's favorable. So you, you saved money. You know, you 1,880 favorable. And here this is um, adverse. And so when you um, combine these two together, which is really the same thing as combining, comparing this with this, it's the same thing, really. Um, you will have um, 16920, 16920 minus 1880. Minus 1880, and that's 15040. 15040 adverse. Yeah, great stuff. And that is the end of um, task, task six.